Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at windsound.com. This video, I'm gonna show you how to use the tap tempo feature in Logic Studio. This is great for finding out the tempo of that sample that you wanna use, or to find the tempo of that rhythm that's stuck in the back of your head. Remember, you can always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas, chris at windsound.com. First thing that you need to do is make sure that you have a key command set up for the tap tempo feature. To do this, you're gonna to wanna to go to your preferences, the top left corner of your screen, scroll down to key command and select that. Or you can also open up the key command window by using its key command, which is option K. Now this is the key command window that's gonna open up no matter which way you decide to go about opening up the window. Now we wanna to go to the tap tempo feature. So we're simply gonna type in tap at the top right here. And you can see tap tempo, select that. And now you can see I already have a key command set up for mine. I use the equal button. But if you don't have one set up, simply make sure that you have the tap tempo selected. And then go to learn by key position. Select that. Now simply type in whatever the key command is that you want to use. For example, if I wanted to use L, I would simply hit the L button on my keypad. Now this is going to come up and you can either choose to replace or choose a different different key command whatever. Now I'm just going to hit cancel because I already have one set up. So once you have a key command set up, you can simply close out of this window. And now the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the sync button open at the bottom of your screen, which is this button right here, the sync button. If you don't have the sync button down there, it's not a big issue can open one up pretty quickly just by right clicking at the bottom of your screen or if you're using a laptop simply control click now select that window that pops up right there now you'll see where it says sync right here just simply make sure it is selected once that is the case hit ok and now you want to select the sync button just simply click on it You'll see that a blue outline has appeared at the top of the screen. That means you're good to go. Before we get into it, I just want to show you. It, as of right now, it's got my tempo being at 115. But now I just want to tap the tempo of the song, of the new tempo that I want to put into the song, simply by tapping the equal button, because that's my key command. But simply tap the key command that you set up for tap tempo at the rate that you want to put the new tempo in. All right. Now you can see I tapped at 198 BPM. And so if I press play again, it's going to go back to 115. So at that point, you're going to want to either just remember the tempo or simply click and copy so you can select that tempo at a later time. Unfortunately, you cannot save your tap tempo in this case, but it's a really quick and easy way to know exactly what the tempo is of the song that you want to use. You can always get in touch with Chris at wingsound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos, including these titles featuring Logic, now available on demand at wingsound.com.